Previously on Launch Control. Amidst a long and grueling season, Subaru Rally Team USA has checked off many of their year-long goals. I actually got to like hold the jack up for you to make sure it didn't fall on you. I feel like I really did my part. David Higgins and Craig Drew have claimed the Rally America Championship with two events remaining. While the Rallycross team is consistently in the thick of the fight, despite tough luck and close calls in Barbados in New York. The team landed podiums at X Games Austin. And GRC Charlotte. Today, the team takes the opportunity to test and compete in the World Rallycross Championship in Trois-Rivières, Quebec, where they'll match their global Rallycross Subaru against the best in the world. This is Launch Control. It's midday at the Canadian round of the World Rallycross Championship, and the Subaru team is scrambling after the first heat. That's this side. No. Not unless there's bolts with it. The track this weekend is incredibly rough, and sections of deep, loose dirt have broken and battered every car. Spare is Saxon Subaru is no exception. Oh, the Subaru. Wheel arch ripped off live, the rear right's hanging off it as well. Like many of his competitors, the unusual loads and forces caused by jumping into deep ruts have caused normally reliable parts to break. Most of the cars when they were hitting that road, they were coming up like, it was very violent. I'm not sure what they're going to do. With the next heat race approaching quickly, they need to fix it now. All the car is broken over there. And I was going slow down, take it easy, and even now it was. We've had a bit of a mixed, uh, mixed bag of results. The track is extremely rough, which given all the jumps we have in the GRC series, we sort of thought, oh, these jumps, like no problem. We've bent some steering knuckles. You know, the cars would have been uh, disabled a couple of times because of these landings. Other people have had a lot of issues as well. Rear suspension has been damaged in other cars. I mean, multiple cars are coming back in the flat, but here we are, uh, you know, there's always something new. And I have one big jump through there, and I have feelings of what's happening. I want something, something strange happening. The single day event starts with four heat races. Points from each heat are added up, and the top 12 move on to the semifinal. With a DNF in the first heat, Subaru needs the remaining heats to go well if they hope to advance. Five minutes, we are the car goes out on time, and the team regroups. The service area is cleaned up for the next frantic service. Other team members find a TV to watch the live coverage. Oh, great start by the three middle cars, certainly beaming on the outside as well. So it's Isaacson and Heikkinen dragging down the straight now. Heikkinen late on the race, Isaacson with a little bit of contact in behind him around the outside, Carpentier. Ken Reese follows the scoring from the paddock. Spare Easington in the Subaru, their debut in World Rally Cross. Great start by him ahead of Derek Tohill and Patrick Carpentier. Fans' favourite here in Canada. Carpentier slotted out behind Easington in the Subaru, and that was how they finished. Sfera rebounds with two solid race wins. Up 
<laughs> Subaru Rally Team USA has proven they are on pace with the best in the world. Uh, I can tell that the other guys need to be nervous. Because we are, we are we, what I say, we have started this project. We are not finished, maybe we are halfway now. With three strong heat finishes, the team advances to the semi-final, and their day ends there. It's a great result in this European Rallycross format. We came here and we mixed it up, and uh, we had two heat wins, and we made it to the semi-final on our first try, and uh, it was a successful test for us. We know where we are now. Yeah. It's so rough track. Okay. The track is so hard, but we are ready. This weekend wasn't about wins or losses. It wasn't about championship points. It was about measuring their progress against an international benchmark. First, uh, first world champion, semi-final. The three hits in the semi-final. So that's good. perfect. Hey, party to my, hey. In a new race format, amongst veteran rallycross teams, Subaru Rally Team USA found proof of their performance. This notch in the belt gives the team confidence to continue down the development path they've been on for the last three seasons. It's not unusual to find spare Isaksen here, on a train. His post-race ritual involves an overseas plane ride, a European connection, followed by a one-hour train ride before he can settle in at home. Nice place, huh? Perfect. Once home, Sfera's other life takes over. I'm home. Hey! <laughs> Tired. Welcome to my home. Hey, William. Beautiful place in Hoxhut, Norway. A lot of build, of course. Hope need to play again. Maybe they can forget me, but don't, don't do that. Don't do that. And here, you know? Huh? Eh? That's the old princess. And there is under. With a hectic travel schedule, the kids are happy to see their father back home. Their pride for his success and the team is evident. And Travis, look it. So this is my place. My walls. That's it. This is the first European champion, I think. 2009. You got it? One, two, three. Bucky can win sometimes, no? But uh, when are important on uh, the big race here, then we need a blue car really. <laughs> Limited time at home makes every moment with his family that much more important. In a nearby hotel, some locals have set up a museum for Sfera. This is the, my museum. It was starting with the Beetle. It was in uh, 99. Here's the first victory. It was over there. That was in Sweden in 2004. It was really nice. I like this one. <laughs> the driver was quite crazy that time. Nothing like now. Him calm down now. So there's something everywhere. Here is the motorlofte. This is what we call this rally loft. So collect the car. The playing room. All this wall is for the Petter and uh, Henning Holber. If you need coffee, then we go to Tools place. Uh, coffee cups, Butch. We have uh, Gorsfjell Fjellstue, the place where we are now, but we have changed the uh, normal road, the uh, race course right now. And also the service place in the Subaru. So, uh, it's a really nice one. And then it's off to run some errands. This is what I say, I, uh, <laughs> Isaacson country. <laughs> Isaacson land. We had a workshop to my brother is there. It's 85,000 square meter. The family business has grown over the last 30 years. My earlier life up there, to the right, the new one. Today, the business is one of Norway's biggest construction and transportation companies. Really clean here now. 
This is the new turbo to the Subaru. But I think this is quite okay. A little bit heavy, but a uh, lot of power. His next stop is bittersweet. The car that brought him three European Rallycross Championships is moving on to a new home. Here is the car, European car. A lot of feelings in here, you know. This car we have built and uh, win so much with this car. It's the most winning car in Europe in ever. So it's really... With Sfera committed to his new Subaru family, Stina has been collecting dust. That it's time to move on. One last rev for good measure as a goodbye. The next chapter with Subaru is already being written. We just want to leave. She was. She want to be here. Last picture, huh? Is she not coming back? Nope. The next morning dawns. Sfera has come to the mountains to continue construction of his cabin. Maybe, maybe we have a screw loose in our head over here. All the guys in Norway, there is rallycross and digging machine. That's normal. This is where he goes to get away. With only one day left before another flight, this is his last chance to decompress before the stress of a race weekend takes hold. If you see behind us, we have mountains, pure nature out there. Then we look this way, and you see this here, the view out there. You understand why I, why I love this place so much. You know, it's when you come here, totally relaxing, charged battery. Daytona is quickly approaching. Next time on Launch Control, all four Subarus are in action. Higgins and Pastrana battle on the dusty roads of Ojibwe Forest Rally. Balls to the wall, Travis. While Sfera and Bucky battle the heat in Daytona. We got a bet. Oh, we did. Will the busy race weekend prove too much for the team? Or will Subaru Rally Team USA climb onto the podium in both disciplines? That's next time on Launch Control.